The peaceful transfer of power, a hallmark of our democracy, began today with President Bush pledging his complete cooperation to President-elect Obama. It will be a stirring sight to watch President Obama, his wife Michelle and their beautiful girls step through the doors of the White House. That's 76 days away, meaning the clock's already ticking for Mr. Obama to assemble his cabinet. The economy puts his choice for Treasury Secretary under the most scrutiny. Two former Clinton Treasury Secretaries top the list, Robert Rubin and Larry Summers, as well as Tim Geithner, who runs the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. He's well thought of on Wall Street. Paul Volcker, who ran the Fed under Carter and Reagan, is also getting a look. Abraham Lincoln, he was a Republican. He was pretty good. So, so I'm going to be looking for the absolute best people. That's Mr. Obama has hinted he'd says. keep with recent practice and appoint a member right, of the right other here. party to his cabinet. That might mean asking President Bush's defense secretary, Robert Gates, to stay. But just a couple of weeks ago, Gates said he was going home. Well, let me just say that I'm getting a lot more career advice and counseling uh, than I might have anticipated. Uh, I think I'll leave it at that. I'm still planning on heading to Washington State. If he does, or even if he agrees to stay for a short time, keep an eye on Richard Danzig, a secretary of the Navy under Bill Clinton. John Kerry and Bill Richardson are two big names being considered for Secretary of State. Senator Richard Lugar, a former chair of the Foreign Relations Committee, gives Obama a Republican option. And at Justice, either Eric Holder, a Clinton Justice Department official, or Massachusetts Governor Deval Patrick would be the first African-American Attorney General. Arizona Governor Janet Napolitano is also under consideration. President-elect Obama has told his aides he wants to take his time choosing a cabinet. He doesn't want to seem rushed. He doesn't want to be rushed. Look for him to name his cabinet after Thanksgiving, not before. Katie? And it will be fascinating to watch. Jim Axelrod at the White House tonight. Thanks, Jim.